Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Electronics for Gate by Kota Vaintana. My mobile number 630-5826909. Today I want to discuss UHF lines as a circuit elements. In previous class, also I have discussed UHF lines as a circuit elements. But for the open circuited transmission lines, I have discussed in previous class. Today, I want to discuss for the short circuited transmission lines. So here, basically, different lengths of uh, transmission lines uh, can be used as different uh, circuit elements. So here, different uh, different lengths of transmission lines can be used as uh, circuit elements. So today I want to discuss for short circuited transmission lines. So before that. Uh, short circuited input impedance so it depends on short circuited input impedance so we have to calculate the beta L and by calculating the beta L then the value is value is the final value ZSC is given so ZSC value decides decides uh, the length of the transmission line acts as a different transmission, different uh, circuit elements. So here, the short circuit uh, input impedance ZSC is equal to J Z naught tan beta L. This is the short circuit input impedance of transmission lines. ZSC is equal to J Z naught. Z naught is the characteristic impedance tan beta L. Beta is the phase shift. L is the length of the transmission line. So, uh, this equation shows that uh, the input impedance of uh, short circuited lossless transmission lines is a pure reactive. So, pure reactive either capacitor reactive or inductor reactive depends on the length of the transmission line or depends on length of transmission line beta L. So here the important note is there if the input impedance of a short circuited transmission line is positive this is input impedance of short circuited transmission line is positive. So that is uh, ZSC is positive, ZSC value, the total this is ZSC value becomes positive, then the transmission line acts as inductor. If the ZSC value becomes positive value, positive something value is given, so the total value is positive, then the trans transmission line acts as inductor. So if the in second condition if the input impedance of uh, lossless transmission lines is negative, that is uh, ZSC, ZSC is negative, then the transmission line can be access capacitor. These are the basics. By using these basics, we can calculate for the different lengths uh, the transmitter, and the transmission line access different uh, circuit elements. So here the length of the transmission line decides the circuit transmission line access different circuit element. So here first of all we have to take the length of the transmission line in between 0 to lambda by 4. 0 to lambda by 4. First of all we have to take the length of the transmission line in between 0 to lambda by 4. Then the short circuit input impedance basic equation is J Z naught tan beta L. J Z naught tan beta L. So here 
beta l is the angle beta l is angle so beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda basically beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda so then zsc is equal to j z naught tan of 2 pi by lambda into l so 2 pi by lambda into l is angle so angle beta l beta l is equal to for l is equal to here first step I have to take 0 to lambda by 4 for l is equal to 0 beta l is equal to 0 so 0 into l is equal to in the place of 0 in the place of l we have to substitute 0 0 into 2 pi by lambda total value 0 0 angle tan 0 then tan 0 so here beta l is equal to 0 degrees and from lambda by 4 l is equal to lambda by 4 then beta l angle beta l becomes 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 4 so lambda lambda cancel and into 2 is 4 so that's why pi by 2 that is 90 degrees so here beta l is equal to beta l is equal to 0 to 90 degrees for the length of 0 to lambda by 4 length of the transmission line the angle becomes angle is the beta l becomes 0 to 90 degrees so here we have to substitute the 0 in the place of beta l then for the 0 angle zsc is equal to j z naught tan 0 tan 0 is equal to sin 0 by 0 sin 0 by cos 0 that is 0 tan 0 is equal to 0 so 0 is into something value zsc is equal to 0 and for the angle 90 degrees zsc is equal to j z naught tan 90 tan 90 is infinity total value is infinity so that's why zsc value 0 to 0 to in the for the angle 0 to 90 degrees the short circuit input impedance is total value is positive positive so that's why for the positive input impedance in the short circuit transmission lines it acts as inductor it acts as inductor for example if you take this so this is the beta l beta l so this is the zsc so here this is pi by 2 0 to 90 degrees that is pi by 2 value so 0 to pi by 2 value is 0 to infinity this is infinity so this value becomes positive this value is positive for the entire this value is positive for the 0 to 90 degrees for the short circuit input impedance so that's why zsc is positive value total positive value for the zsc is positive value then in between 0 to pi by 2 the circuit axis inductor the circuit axis inductor so in between 0 to lambda by 4 the circuit input impedance of uh, transmission lines short circuit transmission lines uh, total value becomes positive value so the transmission line axis inductor in between 0 to lambda by 4 the transmission for the short circuited transmission line the axis this is the short circuit basically this is the short circuit so zs is the input impedance of short circuit transmission line length 0 to lambda by 4 in between 0 to and lambda by 4 then under this uh, transmission line axis inductor this is the circuit element inductor so here for the short circuit to transmission line <coughs> in between 0 to lambda by 4 it acts as inductor circuit element inductor next number 2 the length L in between lambda by 4 to lambda by 2 so number 2 <coughs> in number 2 the length of the transmission line in between lambda by 4 to lambda by 2 then 
the short circuited input impedance of transmission line zs is equal to j j not tan beta l beta l is the angle so here beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda 2 pi by lambda into l so first of all l is equal to lambda by 4 to l is equal to lambda by 2 so here for l is equal to lambda by 4 first we have to take l is equal to lambda by 4 then beta l angle beta l becomes in this uh, in this equation we have to find out first of all angle in beta l so beta l is equal to 2 pi by lambda into l is equal to in the place of l we have to substitute lambda by 4 so lambda lambda both are cancel and 2 to the 4 so that's why pi by 2 that is 90 degrees that is 90 degrees for l is equal to lambda by 2 beta l angle beta l is equal to 2 pi by lambda into in the place of l we have to substitute lambda by 2 then lambda lambda cancel 2 2 cancel remaining pi value that is 180 degrees so for the length of the transmission line in between lambda by 4 to lambda by 2 angle is 90 degrees to 180 degrees so in between 90 degrees and 180 degrees the tan beta l value tan beta l tan 90 to tan 180 is negative negative value so that's why this value is negative enter this value is negative so then the total zs is also negative so that's why input impedance of a short circuit or transmission line is negative so for the negative input impedance of a short the short circuited transmission line access capacitor so this is the short circuited transmission line this is the input impedance zsc so characteristic impedance z naught so the length of the transmission line in between lambda by 4 to lambda by 2 then this enter the circuit to short circuit to access capacitor circuit element capacitor So, for the third case, L is equal to lambda by 4. So, this in the, the transmission line length, L is equal to lambda by 4. That is quarter wave length. Lambda by 4 must be equal to, that is the quarter wave length. So, for the quarter wave length of transmission lines, Zs is equal to J Z naught tan beta L. So, for L is equal to lambda by 4, angle beta L becomes 2 pi by lambda. Beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda into, in the place of L, we have to substitute lambda by 4. Then, 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 4. Then, lambda lambda both are cancel, 2 to the 4. Then, the beta L becomes pi by 2. So, then ZSC is equal to J Z naught tan pi by 2. So, basically, tan pi by 2 is equal to infinity so infinity into j z naught that value is infinity so z s c is equal to infinity <coughs> when short circuit input impedance is infinite then the transmission line access parallel resonant parallel resonant lc circuit so this is the short circuit transmission line the length quarter wave length that is lambda by 4 zs is the input impedance of short circuit so he output is short circuited z naught is the characteristic impedance then the circuit must be equal to parallel lc circuit or parallel resonant lc circuit this is also known as tank circuit so for the l is equal to lambda by 4 the short circuited UHF transmission line access parallel resonant LC circuit or tank circuit. In the fourth case, L is equal to lambda by 2. Lambda by 2 half of the wavelength L is equal to for the transmission line L is equal to lambda by 2, then ZSC. The basic equation 
the input impedance of short circuited transmission line is j that is equal to j z not tan beta l so for l is equal to lambda by 2 the angle beta l is equal to 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 2 so lambda lambda cancel 2 2 cancel remaining pi value pi is equal to 180 degrees so then zc is equal to j tan z naught tan 180 degrees so the value becomes 0 zc is equal to 0 for zc is equal to 0 the short circuited transmission line acts as series resonant lc circuit so for the length of transmission line l is equal to lambda by 2 the transmission lines short circuited transmission lines acts as series resonant lc circuit finally finally the short circuited uhf transmission lines first less than lambda by 4 when the length of the short circuited transmission line less than lambda by 4 it acts as inductor next in between lambda by 4 and lambda by 2 the transmission line acts as capacitor in between next the third one is when l is equal to quarter wave length that is lambda by 4 then the short circuited transmission line acts as parallel resonant circuit or parallel resonant lc circuit and the fourth one is l is equal to lambda by 2 for the example half of the wave half of the wavelength l is equal to lambda by 2 then the short circuited transmission line uhf line access series resonant lc circuit so this is about uh, uhf lines uh, as a circuit elements of the first topic is uh, for the short circuited transmission lines so for the short circuited transmission lines uh, and uh, open circuited transmission lines these are quite opposite so when the in the short circuit transmission line when n less than lambda by 4 it acts as inductor but in open circuit transmission line it acts as capacitor so for the length lambda by 4 to lambda by 2 short circuit transmission line acts as capacitor but in open circuit that acts as inductor so here in the l is equal to lambda by 4 for the length l is equal to lambda by 4 short circuit transmission line acts as parallel resonant rc lc circuit but in open Shaster open circuited transmission line for the length L is equal to lambda by 4 that acts as a series resonant circuit. For the L is equal to lambda by 2, the short circuited transmission line acts as series resonant circuit. But in open, open circuited transmission lines for the length L is equal to lambda by 2, it acts as parallel resonant LC circuit. So the topic is completed for daily classes and for any updates subscribe my channel. My channel name is Electronics for Gate by Kota Venkarna. My mobile number 630-58269. Thank you.